What's up guys, what's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan. Rybeats, how's everybody doing? Um, we're doing, we're, let's see. So today, we're doing something really simple. Add a comment on the process on how I burn my screens. Um, he had the same um, situation as I have. I have to burn the screen inside and wash it outside. So there's a process that I do and just, yeah, so there is a, a little bit of a process that I do to make that work, but your best friend is water. Okay, so uh, let's get right to it. Okay, so the screen that we're using is a 160 mesh. You guys can see a 160 mesh, uh, VPR, uh, Emulsion, um, uh, let's see, one over one coat. Yeah, we're gonna be using the Ryanet X Vector LED uh, vacuum exposure unit. I think I have it set for like eight seconds or something. I can't remember, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, once that's done, I'm gonna show you guys the process before we take it outside. All right guys, so uh, just burn the screen, eight seconds. Let's go ahead and uh, take this thing off. So here's the process guys. All right, so here's the process after that. Get yourself a bottle of water and spray. Spray it. What I like to do is I like to rub my hands on it. Get the other side, go and spray it. What that does, it, it stops or slows down the curing process when you bring it outside with the UV rays. If you have a dip tank, uh, it's probably best to just dip it in the dip tank, just full of water, and just, just do that. And just let it sit for, you know, 30 to 30 seconds to about a minute. So, so while that thing's still wet, we're gonna go outside and make sure uh, we got our hose ready, our water ready, and uh, we're ready to spray this out, okay? Wash booth is ready. So what I like to do with this is spray it one more time with water before I bring it outside. Just like so, both sides. Ugh. All right, and it's ready to go outside. Come on, let's go. I like to do is just leave it out here for the sun to to dry and cure. Uh, let you guys know I'm just using a regular nozzle, you know, regular hose nozzle, but it has like multiple selections of different um, sprays. I like to use the whoops, the flat like that. Wind up. I mean, you should be able to wash out your screens, your artwork with just a regular nozzle. The, whatever pressure is coming out of you should be able to if you're not you're doing something wrong that's how i see it so just to show you guys i do have a small little dip tank here just have water in um, if i need to dip it in the water before i wash it so yeah that's the process um just letting this thing cure and dry uh what i like to do is like on each side about five ten minutes and i flip it on the other side and it should be done all right guys um if you're like me and doing this at home and if you're burning and washing your artwork outside well washing your your artwork outside best thing is to have a water bottle which i need to refill but it's full of water spray it you know if you're still not sure you know spray it both sides leave it for about a minute spray it again and 
couple more times if you're uh, if you really want to make sure that it's not going to um, to uh, expose on you when you're bringing it outside just just make sure that you're ready when you bring it outside and just spray it right away and you'll be done okay and that's the process that that I've been doing and it's been working for me and I'm still doing it that way so all right, so I hope that answers that question. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment below on anything, screen printing, DJing, whatever it is that I do. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.